Hello, it is Alex here, also known as Default Sound, and welcome to the next video in the Vertex Color Vertex Color tutorial series. So today we're going to jump in and model our first asset in the garden scene, and that's going to be our white picket fence. Now I'm going to be introducing a lot of concepts today, so it may be, um, I'll try and go as slow as possible, I'm going to talk through all the shortcuts so you can get dive in and get your hands into 3D modeling. So we know how to use the viewport, hopefully by now, um, but we want to start adding some stuff. We want to add some objects into our scene. So how do we do that? Again, it's another hidden shortcut, and it's going to be one of the prime shortcuts you will use a lot. And that shortcut is Shift A. So Shift A is called the Add menu. And this basically is a place which stores a lot of the common objects that we might use in our 3D scenes. And it's also, very importantly, home to where the mesh options are. So we're, not in, we're only going to be looking at the mesh menu for now. And if you mouse over the mesh menu, you get this um, pull-out menu of more well, our primitive shapes. So in here we can gain access to all our primitive shapes and the one we're going to be looking at is the cube so we're going to click let's go back again hit shift a we're going to come across and click cube and this will add a cube now I'm just going to add a little point do you remember that 3d cursor I was talking about the 3d cursor is very important to when we add meshes wherever the 3d cursor is this will actually denote where the mesh gets added. So it's quite useful, our 3D cursor, um, for basically doing the being the start point for placing our objects. So that's just something to note and remember. So I've moved my 3D cursor. Let's say I want to move it back. If you remember rightly, we can hit Shift C and that will center our 3D cursor. Now you may have noticed the camera zoomed in and that's actually because we've got a mesh in our scene now. So that would sometimes actually help the camera reset to the middle position as well. 